Aerating a lawn is a very simple way of making grass seed germinate faster and easier, but you don't have to do it. When you do run an aeration device, whether it be a core or a spike aerator across the lawn, you're literally opening up these little holes in the ground and then when the seed goes down, it goes into that hole. The more aeration holes that you poke in the lawn, then the more holes are gonna be available for seed to go into. But here's the thing, all of that seed is not gonna fall in the holes. Actually, just a small portion of the seed that gets spread onto a lawn is gonna fall into the aeration holes. So, if you want to core aerate your lawn, you will have a better stand of grass. It's more likely to come in throughout the entire yard. However, you're still gonna have a lot of seed sitting on bare soil, completely uncovered. Now, I've grown grass from seed in a bare dirt, uncovered scenario, and it is very difficult. I've also grown seed where I put it on the ground and then I top dress over it. That works significantly better. And I've also done a little tiny bit of experimentation of putting seed in aeration holes and then just not doing anything to them. And it grows in. Like aeration holes significantly improve the chances of that seed germinating, but only in the hole. I can't stress that enough. It's just the hole that the grass grows out of. So if you've got like 38 holes per square foot, then it's probably going to look pretty good. But most people don't aerate their lawn dense enough for the holes to make a significant difference in a seeding project, in my opinion. Absolutely aerate the lawn. I'm an enormous advocate for aeration, core aeration. But if you don't want to do it, you can still get a seeding project done correctly. Now in the springtime, Seeding a lawn is extremely difficult. It takes long for that seed to germinate. And by the time it germinates, it has a very short window of opportunity to mature enough before the heat of summer arrives. It's definitely possible to do it, but I tend to recommend the majority of people wait until around the 1st of August to start a seeding project. I have videos on this channel about seeding grass in the springtime, which I'll link to in the description below, but mostly I recommend that you watch this lawn care step-by-step -step guide right up here the 10 steps in order for spring lawn care 